Greetings, everybody. Bad Wolf here. Today, I am going to demonstrate the mod limit fix for the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Little background on it. April of 2019, a person on the CD Project Red forums had discovered, well, explained that they discovered how to get past the mod limit. And for those that uh, are not familiar with the mod limit, CD Project Red had made it to where there was a hard mod limit. Um, I was able to run about 25, no more than 25 mods. Uh, and that is after merging scripts and the texture files. Uh, anything more than 25 and I would get an infinite loading screen or what would happen is that in a cut scene, uh, there would be like a little bit of loading happening right in the middle of conversations for you to pick and choose, you know, how you're going to respond or what question you're going to ask. It was very annoying to all of us that have played The Witcher 3 that has modded The Witcher 3. And this person, my goodness, they are an absolute genius. And they had a lot of time on their hand, and evidently they took a lot of time to figure this out, but they did figure it out. So I am already the, I am already at the uh, the forums on the for The Witcher Three, and this is the short description of how to get rid of the mod limit. Make it to where you can run more mods and a lot more mods if you want to. Now, in in the um, form on this thread, uh, it tells you to go to hexed it, and that's what we have over here. I'm already there at the, at the hexed it, and then it is wanting to drop the Witcher Witcher Three EXE the executable. Uh, from the game and you're just going to drag and drop over here to the hexed it so in order to get to um, the executable uh, i don't have mine on the normal uh, windows drive i have it on my own so it's it's the beginning part is just going to be different but the rest of it in order to get to the uh, executable is the same if you have steam so Steam Apps, Common, The Witcher 3, Bin, X64. And down at the bottom is The Witcher 3. That is where you will be dragging and dropping into there. The one that I have in here right now is already done. So now I am going to go back and I am going to take one that I'm going to take the original one that I have down here already opened up. Uh, in a window, and now I'm just going to drag it over to hex it, and now the executable is loaded into hex it. Now, it says next to jump to one of these, and you'll type it in. There is no nothing that says jump to. There is one that says go to, and that's where you're going to be typing in this. I'm going to start from the last one and work my way back because I already know which one will change mine. I'm just giving you demonstrations on what will have what what you know the process of going through each and every one. So I'm going to start off with the first one. The first one is 0x b95 e Five, six, and then I'll press enter. And what I'm going to, what I'm supposed to be looking for is C zero 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 zero. Well, this is the line that I just typed in with a couple of different uh, num uh, numbers, but it is the one. It's highlighted right here, starting off with zero B zero 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 C C. That is not what we're looking for. We're looking for this. So I have to go ahead and type in the next one, which the next one is 0x B 
nine six seven a six enter this one is not it either it starts off with ff four eight c seven eight three so now i'm going to go on to the next one and i will type that in zero x b nine six three six six and enter that's all the way up here and it's it is not it either it's four one one eight four eight eight nine that's not the one either so it has to be the very first one listed up here and so i will type that in zero x b nine five c f six enter and there it is that is exactly what we're looking for c zero 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 that is what we need to be at in order to change other numbers other values it also says in the left panel under 32-bit integer change the number 192 to 500. so i will change that from 192 to 500 press enter and now that line is now changed to four uh, i'm sorry f4 zero one zero 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 and that's how you change it in order to get the mod limit raised then you're supposed to click export and then you're going to save the the new executable that will be going to the game i'm going to put it on my desktop i'm going to save it to my desktop and then i will drag it over to my uh, game folder but i already have that one changed so i don't need to do that but i'm going to show you one other thing after the rest of the post where uh, the person explains a little bit more how they were able to figure it out and what they did, how they came to the conclusion uh, that this had to have been it, and how they tested, how they they themselves tested, and uh, and other people had tested. So I am going to scroll down because this third the the third comment was very interesting to learn as well they said they set their number to 512 in the 32-bit integer at as a binary common number as 192 is they also didn't notice any difference at 720 so you can you already got this change to 500 no problem you want to do a different number 512 enter that's now changed up there too it doesn't hurt anything so it's, you're just fine going ahead and changing it so let's go ahead and put in 720 and see what happens well there you go 720 that now changed it to d0 you can use any one of those three 500 512 or 720. you can even export after each change and put it in a different folder so that way you have all three i also suggest that you keep a backup copy of the original executable the original witcher 3 exe you want that just in case something happens um one of you like you have an issue with the other other three uh, you won't, but if if something happens where you lose it or what have you, you ha you have the original that you can redo again. Um, but that's how you do it. Uh, I hope I explained it uh, well enough and that I wasn't rambling this time around on a helpful video. Anyway, after you do that, go ahead and move it to your... Uh, Witcher 3 bin x64 folder, start playing the game after you mod it, and then you merge your mods, you merge your scripts, and there you go. Have fun playing the game. That's it. Um, there's nothing else I can think of. Uh, uh, so without further ado, I am going to get out of here. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. This is Bad Wolf saying goodbye for now.